Hey guys, today we're gonna go how to do a few Unity stuff that might be either for beginners or that people who just don't know how to navigate around. You just got your textures out of software or whichever program you use and you have them here on your desktop. So how to apply them to your avatar? You simply just drag them into your assets folder right here in the middle, drop it there and they will appear right here. You're going to in an empty space, right click, create, then material, and then you're gonna see this material right here. You wanna make sure that it's selected, and then you drag your, you click and drag your picture into Albedo, and now you just drag that material onto your avatar. Now, one thing I suggest is this smoothness. You wanna make sure to turn it all the way down so your avatar doesn't look like a plastic. Um, now here, if you have a specific shader that you want to put on your avatar, let's say, for example, Payomi, you can do so by clicking here on the next to the shader and standard, then select Payomi, and then you can either go Payomi Tune or Pro. And as you can see, your avatar will go blue for a bit and then it'll change to its natural state. Now, you can do this for some avatars, might have different maps for the eyes or for the feathers or whatnot. Basically, you're going to do the same process. You're going to import the textures in your Unity. You're just going to create a new material, drag the image all the way there, and then you wanna simply drag it onto your avatar, and here you have your body textures. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to do uh, glasses. So for example, uh, how to make the tr uh, transparent material on your glasses. So if, you, if, you, if your avatar has glasses, I'm gonna show you how to make the lens. So basically what you wanna do is just create a material, right click, create, and then material. And you wanna drag that material onto the lenses, turn the smoothness down. Now at the top here where it says opaque, you wanna click and you wanna click transparent. Now click on the color, then go just a little bit gray, not too dark, but just a little bit. And now you see the slider here, just drag it all the way to the left. The more you drag it to the left, the more see-through it's gonna be. I usually keep it around here so you still kinda see the material. And now to make it a bit look nicer, you wanna turn the smoothness all the way up. And now it'll be reflective and here you have your lens. If you have Poyomi shaders, your menu should look like this. And here you can do some pretty nice stuff that I'm gonna go over. I would suggest adding Poyomi on your avatar simply because it makes your avatar look much nicer. So anyway, here we go. Select the special effects folder. You see emission, you see a dissolve animation, let glitter, a bunch of cool and interesting things. If you want to do just normal body emissions, you wanna make sure to check this little window here. And now just drag your textures onto the emission mask, onto the emission map, check these two boxes here, and now change the color to white. And now using the emission strength, the more you go to the left, the more powerful it's gonna be in game. I don't suggest going anything above, let's say maybe three, four, maximum five. If you go above that, your avatar is going to be like, like a sun in game. <laughs> Next, we have glitter. And now as you can see, our avatar has a nice little glitter shader. You can change the color of it by clicking on the little color window and changing it. And with these sliders here, you can change the size of it. Contrast, shadow, yeah. If you would like to export your avatar, let's say you wanna make a new project, that is really simple to do. You wanna make sure that you're on assets here, and then you wanna click on your avatar, then at the top where it says assets, you're gonna find this window here called export package. You just wanna select that, and then it'll open a window to, you know, basically if you can put it on your desktop and then name it whatever you want. There's a bunch of things that you can do in Unity uh, I can't go every uh, over everything, but these were just a few beginner tips or that people asked me how to do. If you would like me to do more of these, be sure to let me know. Share with other friends to help them out as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.